Malcolm. When he first arrived, he was very scared. He was huddled in the corner of his crate. We didn't know if he had any eyes. I knew he needed to get to the vet and I knew I can get him there. The vet didn't think he had a good chance of survival. He did sniff me, I mean, but he couldn't see me. And I thought we could do something, hopefully. I feel like Malcolm started opening up with me during our medication times and our bath times. I was just trying to bathe him with wet wipes just over and over. And that's when maybe a couple of days into it, he just knew the routine. He knew he was going to get bathed. I think he liked it, made him feel better. The fifth day, things started clearing up with his left eye and he just opened his eye and it was blue. It was the prettiest light blue eye that I've seen. I was so excited. I was so happy to see that. The seventh day, the swelling went down on the right side and we realized there is an eye in there as well. I think he's feeling a whole lot better now that he knows that he can see things and he's trusting now that he can see. It's the first ever. The first time he purred, I put some YouTube videos on of cats purring and left that on for a while. And then I think it shut off and all of a sudden I just heard purring. And I was like, wait, is that Malcolm? Is he purring? And I just realized I could feel it on his body, a little vibration, and he was purring and I was so happy. Once he started purring, he, I felt like, felt so relaxed in my arms. He was content. He just knew things were going to be better. To help out Malcolm, I feel like it's the best thing I could do and what I was born to do. I just, I want to help out animals that are in need. I feel like I could do something for them. And if I can't do anything for them, I could at least let them know that they've been loved. Hi, Malcolm. Look at that beautiful blue eye.